Hi, I'm Brittany Montez, and this is the Orlando Health News Review for March 23rd. Orlando Health is proud to be the official medical team for the upcoming 2022 Special Olympics USA Games held here in Orlando on June 5th through the 12th. Our official Special Olympics sportscaster Malcolm talked to Carrie D'Ortona, president of Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children, about what this means to Orlando Health. Thanks, Brittany. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Malcolm. So, first question for you, Carrie. Orlando Health is the official Central Florida Health home of Special Olympics Florida. In that role, what sort of things do you do? Well, first off, Special Olympics is an amazing organization, you know, celebrating their 50th year serving the state of Florida. Uh, and we at Orlando Health always look to partner with great organizations. We're all about the health of our community. And we love the mission of uh, Special Olympics Florida regarding inclusion. So we're excited to be a part of that. Amazing, Kerry. So that seems like a huge undertaking. What is Orlando Health doing to prepare? You know, it is, it's a massive undertaking. There's going to be 5,000 athletes, 125,000 spectators. Um, and so we're going to be there ensuring that everyone is able to perform at their best from an athletic perspective and that folks are healthy and we're keeping everyone safe. Incredible. Last question for you, Kerry. How does partnering with Special Olympics Florida benefit your health care professionals? It's a two-parter. Does it better prepare them to care for people with insulin disabilities? Well, I mean, we love serving this community. And so I think, you know, one of the things that's exciting for us is we love doing the work that we do here at the hospital, but we love supporting other great organizations. So it's an opportunity for our team members to get out and volunteer. But we also get to learn from Special Olympics Florida. Um, you guys um, are the best at working with individuals with intellectual disabilities. And so we want to be able to learn from you and we're excited to be able to do that. Appreciate it, Carrie. Back to you, Brittany. And Orlando Health South Lake Hospital opened the third floor of the Center for Women's Health to patients this week, which is expanding the Women's Center by nearly double. The third floor now holds postpartum rooms and a new nursery. An internal event for team members and physicians was recently held to celebrate. This first phase of our tower expansion, uh, really, which was a vision built um, in 2018, is to really uh, open up uh, the opportunity and capacity for further deliveries to happen here. This third floor will open on April 4th. Uh, we're excited about opening those 15 postpartum beds. We will then expand and then uh, go back and start renovating the second floor uh, of our labor and delivery suites. This North Central Market is really important for Orlando Health, and this is the first phase of an investment that we'll continue to have back into our community to ensure that the services that we provide stay here locally. And Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children is proud to announce the arrival of its first ever facility dog, Parks, a two-year-old male Labrador retriever. Parks joins the hospital's child life team to help bring healing, comfort, and fun to chronic and critically ill patients, their families, and team members. As a facility dog, Parks went through two years of training to become a service dog. He learned over 40 commands that then I learned when during our training. He works with our kids throughout the hospital with his training, he can go to places like the intensive care unit. He's familiar and comfortable around the hospital beds, hospital equipment that may be here. He is helping to serve as a motivator for our kids who maybe are struggling a little bit. We've helped some kids for the first time reach out and start doing more movement that perhaps they've been very resistant to doing. He works with some of our chronic patients to kind of serve as an emotional support for them and their families as they're coping through the different challenges here and he is working with our children in a very goal-oriented way. And Orlando Health team members volunteered at United Against Poverty in their Member Share Grocery Program, a dignified food and household assistance program where families that fall below the federal poverty level can purchase nutritious food items at a reduced rate. Team members assisted with restocking shelves, sorting donations, and organizing. Well, that's it for today's edition of the Orlando Health News Review. We'll see you next week.